OCD can uh, manifest in different ways in different people, but for mm -hmm. you it has to do with cleanliness. Can you describe some of the, the habits that have kind of made a bathroom a prison for you? Um, well, if I want to wash my face or if I want to shower, I always have to brush my teeth. And it always has to be, I used to have a time, but I've you know started to change uh, my rituals to kind of help get them better. So it used to be like 30 minutes straight. Now, brushing, brushing, brushing teeth. my teeth, yeah, okay. before I can move on to the next step of getting clean, my cleaning process. Um, but now it's mostly with six to 12 toothbrushes in one setting because I've kind of developed this new contamination fear of I'm brushing my teeth, it's cleaning my teeth, but the toothbrush is getting dirty in the process. So I'll have to, like, it's this feeling I get, oh, that one's dirty, so then I'll grab a new toothbrush. And then so I have that little segment of my OCD I have to start with. And then I do like a pre-shower or pre-face wash ritual. And again, with my OCD, it's a feeling. So I'm searching for this clean feeling. And with OCD away, it can get worse and worse just because it's never good enough. OCD is that you're never good enough. You never can be clean enough. So it's always going beyond to search for that or get that clean feeling. I'm very curious about, you clearly have self-awareness that you're brushing your teeth and you have this feeling that it's contaminated, but you mentally know that it's not or not, it can't get contaminated in three seconds. Like, where does kind of the OCD take over where you have kind of like logical Ginny that like knows that there's nothing wrong with this toothbrush or there's the spot is clean and OCD Ginny when you you can't stop the the, the ritual. So when I first was diagnosed with OCD, I never really thought I had a problem. I was just like, I like to be extra clean. I take a little extra time taking showers or washing my hands or whatnot. But these past three years when I've, you know, where it's kind of gotten to a different, another level and to where I know like, wow, I really do have a problem, was an instant where I was washing my hands and I was using like, I think I went through like two bottles of hand soap. And I was telling myself, like, why do you feel, I was like, why do you need more soap? These are clean. You've been cleaning these hands for 30 minutes. I think it was like 30 minutes. And I just couldn't, I don't know, I was, I was getting really frustrated, like banging on the counter and crying and like, why can't I stop? Like, I just, there was like something in me that I physically could not stop washing my hands. And it was so uh, debilitating in the way of, I spend an hour in the bathroom just washing my hands, and I'm like, what the heck? Like, what's going on? Like, what? You know, you know, why can't I just walk away from the sink right now? But I, like, physically couldn't until, again, I was like, okay, these hands are clean. And that's when I was like, okay, um, the fact that I'm telling myself to stop, but I can't walk away scared me because I'm a very strong person and, and you know, have a lot of self-control in my eyes. But that, at that moment, I was like, wow, I... I felt like I had no control over my behavior at that moment, which was a really scary thing. I got to fight my way back to life. 